English is expecting in like manner. Now here it use the word in like manner. You can see here. So so come in like manner. You may underline the phrase over here in like manner. Glaya at si to sa mga mga husu na mudiw e ito ba mga assembly say si ite ko ba say to say si ite ko sami at si ka ay say si ite to bakay superstar hong sa muling tapo ni piting aso to say si ite si kapita amen hallelujah amen have been the disciples had already passed away two thousand years ago they already died. Now that they're in heaven. So how we say that the angels of God are lying? Are they liars? So many times we are not thinking. Okay, we often read the Bible, but we are not meditating on God's word. Most of the time we don't even focus. That's a problem. Because we know the disciples already passed away. So if you get a good about other you know, they already passed away from the last thousand or two thousand years ago. But the angel of God says to them, then you will see. So what does it mean by this word seen? And it's also important to understand the phrases such as in like manner. Now the problem is that many people does not understand the Greek phrases for the whole problem. But what does it mean? Because it should not be interpreted in a literal sense. When you study from Greek lexicon from many other commentaries, in like manner should never be interpreted in a literal manner. It does not mean that it will happen in a literal fashion. I want to give you some examples because the, the Greek phrases for the whole problem is used several times in different different scriptures from uh, from the Book of New Testament. So let's first read out from the Matthew 23 because even here also the same Greek phrase is used again. Amen. So let us try to analyze and try to understand from the Matthew 23 verse 37. So here you can see in Matthew 23 and verse 37. O Jerusalem, <coughs> Jerusalem, thou did kill the prophet and stone them which are said unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children together even? As a hand gathered her chickens under her wings, and you would not. So here God is saying, and we know that these are metaphorical. Amen. So I want you to know more over here, even as hand gathered. Now remember, this is always metaphor, like in like manner, or even as. This all is pointing towards metaphorical statement. And God is to take it in a literal sense. I think that's something we need to understand. So God is saying over here, Jesus is saying, as hand, look at here it says, and even as hand, get her heart to get under her wings, and you would not. But we know that practically speaking, physically speaking, Jesus Christ, alright, physically never uh, kept the children of Israel under her physical wings and physically have never gathered the children of Israel and the children says this the hand gathered her young ones or the chickens under her wings this is called metaphorical we need to understand now here we need to understand here in the gospel of John the 14 and verse 23 that Jesus said if a man love me, he will give my words, and my father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. So what we understand here is that Jesus Christ never 
give information to the disciple that they would see him physically. So what we need to understand is that many times we fail to understand the prophetic language. We fail to understand the metaphorically, the metaphorical statement used by the disciples and used by our Lord Jesus Christ. And then let's go a bit further and let's read from Luke chapter 13. Because the same Greek phrases, such as the whole problem, in my manner, is used again even in Luke chapter 13 and verse 35. Okay, the same thing is in 34 and 35. Behold, your house is left you the soul in event, and verily I say unto you, ye shall not see me until the time come when you shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Alright? And then I wanted you to turn the Bible again to the Acts of the 7. Let's go a bit further again and read out from Acts of the 7, verse 28. And, uh, and also let's read Acts of the 15th. Alright, even S. Even verse 15 says, 15 out of it, But we believe that through the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, we shall be saved even as they. So now you can see these kinds of uh, <coughs> metaphorical statements are being used over again and again in the Holy Scripture. Therefore understand, brothers and sisters, now this is the word such as in like manner, the phrases, is often used metaphorically and the word which the Bible translates as in like manner, right, in like manner, are the Greek word that all trouble which we mentioned does not mean in exactly the same way. Okay, because we know that exactly the same way that God had never gathered right, the children of Israel, the nation Israel, under his under his wing, like the chickens would gather our young ones under our wings. So this does not mean that in the exact same way. So the word even as I was the same <coughs> from the Greek word, the same, it means the same thing. The same words are used to describe the relationship between Jesus and Stephanie's return. So even in Matthew, which we already quoted, the Matthew 23, verse 37, the whole problem does not mean exactly the same way, but metaphorically. Like in other words, Jesus did not mean that the Lord that Jesus did not mean that the Lord was literally a hand and with a little wing. Alright, so that's the reason why Jesus Christ gave us a metaphorical statement already. <clears throat> and then I want you to join me again. Let's go straight to the Matthew chapter 10. Amen. The Matthew Musong said again. What did Jesus talk says about this? In Matthew chapter 10, verse 23. Okay, and before we do the reading, uh, let us first read out from the uh, uh, Matthew 16, for I think that will be great. Let's do first reading to Matthew 16, verse 27 and 28. Yes, somebody please read out our uh, Bible reader. Matthew chapter 26, verse 27 and 28. Yeah. Matthew chapter 16, verse 26 and 27. For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angel, and then he shall reward every man according to his work. 28. Verily I say unto you, here be some standing here, we shall not taste of death, till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. 
All right. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So Jesus made it very clear that there will be some people still alive. They will not see a physical death until he comes back. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, therefore, if Christ is not coming even after 2,000 years ago, then how would you translate, how would you interpret this verse of Scripture? What would we say? Because here Jesus is saying, all right, he said, Verily I say unto you, that there is some standing here which shall not test of death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. It is absolutely clear that Jesus has given the clear information to his disciples that his return, his coming, would not take years and years. His coming is very imminent and is going to come very quickly. Amen. Therefore, the people who are alive <coughs> while Jesus was on the earth, some of them definitely see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. And then, we all need to understand, my dear brothers and sisters, the kingdom will not come with observation again. Okay, let's turn the Bible to Matthew chapter 17. Because in verse 20, 21, And when it was demanded of the Pharisees when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of God came not with observation, Neither shall they say, Lo, here, O Lord, here, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Amen. Hallelujah. So they mean the return of Jesus Christ, the coming of Jesus, is not a physical return, but it's a spiritual return. Hallelujah. Amen. Including his kingdom is not going to be a physical, a literal kingdom, but it would be a spiritual kingdom. That is the reason why. That Jesus said over here in Luke chapter 17 and verse 21. He said to his dog. Alright. Jesus said it very clearly to the Pharisees. That the kingdom of God is simply within you. Let's refocus again. On verse 21. Neither said they said over oh, here all over the earth. But behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I mean, wherever the presence of the Lord is, wherever Christ is present, it is his kingdom. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Wherever the spirit of the Lord is residing, wherever the spirit of the Lord is, it will be considered as his kingdom. Therefore, it is within you. So, Despite that Jesus Christ said all this thing, that how comes that even to this day, that people, some people, we are still waiting in a literal, in a physical, uh, in the return of Jesus Christ. And that is a very sad thing. I want you to turn the Bible again to the book of uh, Matthew chapter 10. Now we're going to come back to the Matthew chapter 10. In verse 23, you can read out. Okay, let's hear this one from the very good Bible as well. Really Bible with the reading verse 23. What can I read now? Matthew Bung Som Chang Som Ilatum. Hitsi Hua Minna Bor Sitting Ole, Udang Azam Lugun. Is it in a mitile, Tabiaka Sapi in a hill way? Mihim Sapa, Ahuma, Israel Te Kozo Si, not so so loading over here. Translation is a little bit big over here, anyway. Let's hear from the case. How does it say? Okay. Chapter 10, verse 23. Mm. But when they persecute you in this city, flee right. ye into another. For verily I say unto you, ye shall not have gone over the cities of Israel till the Son of Man be come. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That means Jesus said to his disciple that until I come back, that you will not have a right. Cross, or you will not have gone over the cities 
all Israel. So how can we say that Christ is not yet to come? Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Nihem tapa ahum masana Israel who hold Israel who be hold them so that you saw the whole life of Ahi. Nihem tapa ahum masana it is Israel who be hold so Israel don't know that you know the name of Israel. And the apostle also is very good to say that the one that tells the Matthew, the one who thinks of the one way up. You know, when we study from the Romans and the Tens, the one who saw John so many years ago says, We tell to you that the one who says that the one that tells the one that did not think of 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 the one. Ano tila tuh ahum ta ay pagkai ni suju ta sa hong lupin at tira kita na pangem kung baat sa mga tinpenti ko sa mga sejudia ko mahagawen ang ta ay niju hindi ang mga pagkai ng tila sa mga tila Roman seventeen ulikir na niya ang sangsa ni Neymar na niya ay do si Kalubing ay do le ay do lahat na do hindi na sangsa ni Jadi contohnya contoh ini adalah simple ini adalah kan sebenarnya Romans sangat sangat sulit. Now you can study on Romans chapter ten, where the apostle Paul has already declared that they have already, right, reached not just the Jewish communities, but according to Paul, he says that the gospel that they have preached. Has already reached the entire world. Amen. Let's read out in Romans chapter ten and verse eighteen. Okay, someone, uh, please help me reading. Okay, sorry. Uh, the Romans. Yeah, let's read out from our Bible. Rom bung somtang somlagi. Ahi le amahon azalo muham azanawe. Ao ginu gamtina atangin chule atuvin kor kim vial atan suotai. Kor kim vial that means all over the world. Ale seju itia chun chuda kam su seloa. Sentiel kami sangat biasa di nanti bawa apa dia tu hang sampai tak berjun. Pakai di suci orang luar tak di hela hela hebat. Setan tu hela hela orang tu pakai lebih besar. Amen. Amen. Tama tidak apa. Hallelujah. Sejauh dia kau maju kan, buat kita tu Matthew musuh tu. Ambil je bolu tu. Matthew chapter ten verse twenty three ada di sini masuk tu. Mau dia apa sih dia orang apa tu? And I'm here because they said they need to come and listen to me. All right, I'm so concerned for each and every one of you. Matthew, bung som tang. Yeah, then verse twenty-three. Som ni latun. Hitsi kwa min na borse tingo le kudang azam lutun. Izi ina miti le tabia ka sa ibig na hiwe. Mihim sa pa ahum ma Israel te kuzau si na tutso lo dingo ahi. Mihim sa pa ahum ma sa matu. Israel te kulo sa mga tutso sa lugar niya. Amen. Now you can see here in verse verse twenty three that Jesus said to his disciple, "Ye shall have not gone over the cities of Israel till the Son of Man is come." Praise the Lord! Hallelujah. You shall not have gone over the cities of Israel till the Son of Man is come. Mere tapa ahum as ang siya at sulo ahum ka ahum ka at sulo ng Israel kudo siya na tuto rula niya ng tuto. Ay le, hindi ka hindi ka tuto. Romans chapter ten verse eighteen. Paul in the Bible says, He says, Yes, their son went into all the earth. And uh, listen carefully, it says, and their words, and their words 
unto the ends of the world. Amen. Seju tei ki pa tu pa ram sang pa tu va mo le se pong pi a tang so yin. Amen. Nothing to think of alluding and their words, their words, a two zong two, a two seju zong two. Okay, we just unto the ends of the world. Mutin gam kina wa ne ne se tin nakin ko ma atang so ta ya ti pakai lo pin sa haru ni amen ati ti pakai hi su a mun so ta ti su sei tam no ti ni pakai lo pin sa da ha ha lo ni amen tu zeng ge si su ri sa hu na i pui ti ni sa sa to ta sei ngam nyong ni i he mo si ba ji su hu na i pui hu mun de ta hu mun lu na ku sa ni ba le ta ha lo ni amen pakai lo pin sa ni Hey, I'm not the case. I don't have been there. No, but I just soon need to learn how to do it right. If you're tired, but I just need to stop me. I'm out of relationship with me. Jesus, I go to him. I'm on my journey. Jesus, I need to get the love of God. I just soon need to be here too. Hallelujah, Amen. So when the Christ came, now remember, according to the words of Jesus Christ. That the coming of Jesus Christ has already happened. He had already returned in the first century itself, because he said it very carefully. Look at the word from the Revelation chapter twenty-two. And verse twelve uh, and thirteen. Because Jesus said, "Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according to his work self me." So now you tell me, is Jesus Christ our God alive? We know that one of His attributes is called the truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Because Jesus Christ Himself has said, "I'm the way, the truth, and the life." If He's the truth, then why He lied? Is Jesus Christ a liar? Because He said, "I will not delay my coming." Now, the very interesting thing is the Greek word for this quickly. Now you can search it from uh, even from the Mexican Greek dictionary. You can search it from the concordance if you want to read it further. Now try to analyze and study the Greek word for quickly. The word quickly in Greek it means to choose and understand what is the meaning over here. The meaning is without delay. Amen. Hallelujah. That means under any circumstance. That Jesus said, "I will not delay my coming." Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, on the other hand, God is saying, "I will not delay my coming." So, but then why is delaying more than two thousand years? Then is God delaying? No, my friend. He did not delay His coming. As he promised, he ascended on the forty days. On the fifty days, he came back. He has returned already, but no more in the flesh, but in the spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Because the reason why he came in the first coming, the reason why God already manifested in the flesh was to set the blood of the Calvary, and that mission was one thousand percent accomplished. Even in our patient to me, I'm not going to help. Last Sunday, the same time, this is so great to help me. This is so damn so the day. Hallelujah, amen. This is so that I'm so the time so the day the patient to help you to a this is not a joke. That's right, hallelujah. But you know, you are part of this. From where did God have this blood? But here I'm to have all the other two. This is the day here. We are going to see the day. We are going to see the kingdom of heaven today. Kaha se bhagwan na hu na hu ne karai, huh? Na bhagwan ani ni ayat hallelujah. Because God was manifested in the flesh. God became a man. The first advent was fleshly coming, my friend. 
So don't get confused with the first advent and the second advent. The first coming was purely a fleshly coming even, but the second coming is no more a fleshly coming, but a spiritual coming. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the firstly coming, the mission was 1,000% accomplished. Praise be the name of God. And why am I sharing this today in this Sunday sermon? Because I'm concerned about you. I'm concerned about your children. I'm concerned about your grandchildren. Because if you don't understand the truths, maybe the days will come that your children will think that my father's and my mother's religions Doctrines and beliefs is nothing but a fact. They would be disappointed. And at last, the chances are very uh, The chances are there that it may be our children in the, in the days to come. They may want to lead the Christianity. Because they would say, our pastors, our leaders, my mom and dad often preach about the imminent return of Jesus Christ fleshly. They often talk about the fleshly coming, the physical coming of Jesus Christ, and physical establishment of his physical kingdom over there at the land of Israel, but it never happens. So maybe Christianity is all about fact. And it, it can happen. And therefore, my friend, it's important for you and I to understand the truth. Amen. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's not be a double-minded people. Amen. Let's have a clear-cut understanding about hallelujah, amen, the doctrines of God, especially today what I'm what we're preaching is a very important doctrine. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because if you're not clear about it, my friend, that means you have a problem. That means you have not yet understood the doctrines of God. That means you're still very much a carnal-minded person, and you are not able to digest and understand the living word of God. Amen. And if you are serious about the physical return of Christ, all I'm saying is why don't you go to Jerusalem? Amen. Practice what you're preaching. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't be hypocrites. Even the last Sunday, I already talked about that, isn't it? I told you that a hypocrite is a person who says something different and will do something opposite. So if, you, so if you are not practicing what you're preaching, that means we will be, no more will be classified as a hypocrite. Community, a hypocrite Christianity, hypocrites, apostolic Pentecostal church. So let's examine ourselves. Are we hypocrites? I'm sure that no one wants to be uh, called hypocrites, but my friend, your actions proves that you are hypocrites because you're not practicing. What you're preaching. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So we are talking about the imminent physical return of Christ. Then why are we not going over there at the land of Israel? Give me the answer. Kiu hamu judia me. Jerusalem is only impossible to get that. Second coming, second coming, go there. Huh? Jesus is only one of the. Kabi di Facebook dekho. Kya kya graphic graphic design picture dekhata hai. अरे वो तो बोरा का बोरा को पर मिल के आप ले आया हमारा भगवान बोरा में भेजने वाला इंसान है आदमी नहीं हाल है यार मैं भी नहीं बैठूंगा बोरा में यार जब सुपर सार अमीर खान शादी फिर के डिवोर्स दिया था तो ये आदमी ने कमेंट दिया बोला कि अरे यार जिंदगी में हम लोग एक बार बोरा में देता है ये अमीर खान तो गोरा से उतर देगा नाम ही नहीं ले रहा है गोरा में घूमते रहता है मतलब पंद्रह साल के बाद शादी करते रहता है हाँ हमारा का भगवान गोरा में बेटे वाला भगवान है आलम भगवान है 
क्योंकि हमारा भगवान है वो आत्मा है हालत बिकॉज गॉड इज स्पिरिट यू नॉट सिल इन वाइड हॉर्स क्या क्या ग्राफिक डिजाइन दिखा के बाल लंबा लंबा करके उस कलर में all hallelujah i'm knowing god is ever present one hallelujah praise god hallelujah he cannot hide from the presence of god wala ko wala chino ko le am zor zor hoya ki sel na pathi to nahi na hum hallelujah ye ko kai sun kar mera ni khat ni ki khop na ke ma ko me to do sande se ji su krishna me ki khop eu le अतः हर नाम के जीशु मति पर कमिनाति ना ना मार तो से आ फुलफिल दे दे वो बच्चे ओनली प्रेजेंट ही था कलेक्शन के अलावा जब वो भी होगा ना बर्मना हॉल बर्मना हॉल इस ओके बर्मना हां उन को हम थोड़ा प्यार ईश्वर दिल की होता है ये दास बर्मना इंडिया का प्रभु ये हम भाई के Yes, the Lord. Lord Jesus, I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. So, how many times did you go? Huh? Our Bhagwan, who only present, Bhagwan, not here. So, how many times did you go? Huh? The first time, huh? When the Brahman will say, "How are you, Lord Jesus?" What the Lord will say? The Brahman will tell us. We have no fear. We have no fear. We have no fear. थिंकिंग Then if our God is not of God, not in only side God, I think He must be so tired and exhausted because, especially on Sunday, because all over the world the people are gathering and we are always invoking the saving name of Jesus Christ. And Jesus said, "If we are to our gathering, my name I said in your midst. If our God is not an omnipresent God, He must be so exhausted." But we are my friends, our God. Is an omniscient God. Amen. Our God is an omnipresent God. Hallelujah. He's a present everywhere. He does not need an animal or physical animal to come down on this earth. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. So even the Revelation chapter nine with the white horse, the Son of Man sitting on the white horse. Even then, I have already explained about what does it mean by the white horse. The white horse symbolizes the church. Hallelujah, Amen. Praise the Lord, Amen. Hallelujah. Because it's through the church that He's expanding His kingdom. God is expanding His kingdom through His church. Amen. Praise the name of God. God is enlarging His kingdom through you and me, and we are the church. Hallelujah, Amen. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. So we understand the relation is full of symbolism. It's full of symbolism, and do not in the prayer in physical matter. We the theologian, we the pastor, many times we say Revelation chapter nineteen horse is a physical horse. But what about Revelation chapter twenty one and twenty two? What about dogs? Who told me that? Ek me to hamlo horse me to horse me bola nahi bola. A si horse me bola. लेकिन वहां पे रेवलेशन ट्वेंटी वन में लिखा है कुत्ता लूपी बाहर में असली कुत्ता है क्या तो कुत्ता कौन है बैक स्लाइडर्स हमें द पीपल हु बैक स्लाइड्स दे आर द सो अंडरस्टैंड इट्स फुल ऑफ सिंबल बट वेरी अनफॉर्चूनेटली टुडे माय ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स आई विल टेल यू दैट वी एज अ क्रिश्चियंस वी फेल टू अंडरस्टैंड 
the hidden wisdom of God, the hidden words of God, we fail to understand the doctrine of Christ. It's all because we are so carnal minded and we never want to understand it. the living word of God. And we want to go along with the man made tradition. We want to uphold that man made doctrine over the living word of God. So I want you to turn the Bible again. Hallelujah. That is exactly what Jesus Christ said in Matthew chapter 10. I want you to turn your attention to the book of Matthew chapter 10, verse 23. Let's have a look at it once again. But when they first get you in the city, and remember Jesus Christ is addressing his disciples. He said unto them, When they persecute you in a city, flee into another. For verily I say unto you, Ye shall not have gone over the cities of Israel till the Son of Man is come. Hallelujah. Now that we know the disciples are already passed away, the entire apostles have already died physically. And two thousand years ago, Amen. Hallelujah. And if we are saying that Christ is not a return, that means we are saying that our God is a liar God. But we know that our God is not a liar God. Our God is the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of God, my dear brothers and sisters. The problem lies with us only because we often, you know, interpret the living word of God in a physical manner. We always take things in a physical and literal sense. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. And including in Acts chapter 1, verse 9 and 10 and 11, it does not say the angels of God does not say to the disciple that he will come back. Just as you see him going in physically, he will come back physically. He didn't say it. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. So if you did, you can't be Amen. So if you did, you can't be part of it. Hallelujah. And if I'm the Lord, you also say, Han. What kind of open a time? Do a whole bit of hurt on board. Amen. Why don't you say this song to me? Or do I hold them to that? Okay, Lord, it's a hallelujah. Quick, mm -hmm. what about the mood there? Be the two. To whom did the, the, the angel of God say, as you see him going up, you will see him coming back? To whom did the angel of God were saying, not to me and not to you and me, physically speaking? The angel of God said it to the disciples of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The angels of God say to the disciples of Jesus Christ. But the problem here is, as we all know, the two thousand years already passed. Physically speaking, the disciples of Jesus Christ died already. Now that they are in heaven, enjoying their eternity. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah.
John 4 verse 19, let's hear from our Bible Bible and we will come to the English. John Musa Mali, Sansom Lako, Tom Hadzon, let Banoi mean a Is it in a mitile, Kema, Kahinge, Nang Hosong, the Hinding Wahi? Amen, Hallelujah. Let's run again to John the 14, let's hear from our sister. 14 and verse 19. Chapter 14, verse 19. Yet a little while, and the world sees me no more. But these see me, because I leave, they shall leave also. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How did you understand? Why is that the angels of God are saying to the disciples that you will see his coming? It's because of this. Amen. Hallelujah. You can see here in John 14 and verse 19. Jesus said it to his disciples. Yet a little while, the world see me no more. So that so that van noi hit he could be a hit bit mu to the van. Now I say that now me so me bit mu anga ti la pa fi pa se hallelujah. Does it mean that the entire world, the entire people, were physically blind? No, my brothers and sisters. Does it mean the entire world, the people of this world? We're physically blind, no, my brothers. Now, what does it mean? It simply means that the world will not perceive, they will not understand, they will not be able to comprehend. But whereas the disciples of Jesus Christ, the apostles, would perceive and they would understood and they would comprehend that Jesus Christ is God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. As a result, we can see that on the day of Pentecost, Peter cried out to the children of Israel and said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. For the remission of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And as we know, that 3,000 Jewish people. God saved. 3,000 Jewish people were baptized, filled with the Holy Spirit, and they got saved on the day of Pentecost. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So if you think of us, because Amen. Hallelujah. In Gelo, Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I can't come in now and say one. Hallelujah. Sit down for you. I'm not going to be up for an hour. Amen. I need to be more than a hate. We got some of the rest of it. Praise the Lord. 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 Hallelujah. One way would be the
unless God chose to manifest in human flesh, unless God manifested in the flesh, unless God became a man, you cannot see God with your physical eye. Amen. Because the essence of God is the spirit and is the invisible God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So therefore, Jesus Christ sent the disciples, yet a little while, the wall, cosmos, the wall, see me no more. That means the people who does not believe, the unbelievers, will not be able to understand and comprehend. They will not be able to perceive that I am God. But you see me, that means, but you believers, you my followers, you my disciples, you my children, will see, will perceive, would understand, would comprehend that I am the God who manifested in the flesh. Amen. Hallelujah. You know me that I am your father, that I am the God of Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac. Amen. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. And that is the reason why the Jesus said to me here, but you see me because I leave. He said also leave. And now look at, look at the verse 20. And then you said, know that I'm in, I'm in the Father. And then you said, know that I'm the Father, and ye in me, and I in you. Praise the Lord. Amen. If Christ is in me, and if we are in him, why is, how, how, how can we say I'm waiting? Amen. That means only the people who does not believe in Jesus Christ are waiting. But the children of God are not waiting, they are becoming one. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're having a union with Christ because as Jesus said, I in you and you in me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And therefore, Apostle Paul wrote a letter to the church at Ephesus and he said it unto them like this. Let's hear from the, our sister. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 6. And I'm going to wind up here for this Sunday sermon. God bless you. Amen. Let's hear from there. We need not to wait, my friends, but you need to repent and you must be born again. Let's read uh, Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 6. Listen carefully. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 6. One God and Father of all, who is above all, and through all and in you all. Repeat one more time. Amen. One God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. Everybody know the word in you all. One God who is the Father of all, above all, and what? In you all. Amen. Hallelujah. Now you tell me according to the force of all, where is God? Where is God? Amen. Is it on the tree? On the mountains? On the other planet? Hallelujah. Where is God? Sister Annie, where is God? You have the Bible? Someone give the Bible to her. Amen. Praise the name of God. You are more interested, so I'm going to... Okay, give me the answer. So read again Ephesians chapter 4 verse 6 and give me the answer where is God there? Ephesians chapter 4 verse 6. Yeah. One God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. Now you tell me where is God there? Is it on the planet, on the other planet? On the mountain, on the tree, on the ocean? Where is God? What does it say? Everywhere and in all of us. Oh, praise the Lord. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. That's exactly what the Bible says. Hallelujah. Different Ephesians chapter 4, verse 6. Read from with my brothers and sisters. Amen. Look at here again in chapter 4 and verse 6. One God. Amen. It does not say one God in three persons. It says one God. And who is a father of all. So the one God is the father of all. 
who is above all and true all and in you all. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So now you tell me where is God. It's in you all. Amen. Hallelujah. Dear brother, day when we are born again, since that day, Christ already in me, I in him, and he is in us. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of God, my brothers and sisters. This is the truth that we need to proclaim to the world. This is the truth that we need to share. This is the truth that we need to stand for. Because when you learn to stand for the truth, the truth himself, the Lord Jesus will stand for you. God bless you. Let's all stand together. Thank you. Amen. All right. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you very, very much for your time. Let us sing this hymn together. And All right, let us sing this song together. Amen. What a friend we have in Jesus. Song of the 49. Song of the 49, page number 21.
Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What a prayer we have in Jesus. What a wonderful God. What a loving God. What a loving Father we have served. Amen. Just remember one thing. Our God is an awesome God. Oh, he's a wonderful God, a loving God. And if he said, I will never despise you, I'm not going to forsake you. Amen. Of all these words, I oh, love him and worship him. Love him with all your heart and your mind. And God is going to prosper you. He's going to bless you mightily. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much. So I call upon a brother. Amen. Let me say good to you. Let me say pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, let us pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God.